Yo, what's up family? In today's video, we're gonna be going over why I decided to remove the windshield tint off of my Dodge Charger Scat Pack. We're basically gonna be going over the pros and cons of having a tinted windshield and you know, what you can uh, expect and basically the real reason or reasons why I decided to remove it off of my windshield. Yo, what's up family? Welcome back to my channel. Ryan with Hemi Fam, back with another awesome, exciting video for you guys. On this channel, we do mods, unboxings, installations, vlogs. So if you are new to this channel, do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button. You're definitely not gonna wanna miss all the awesome videos we have in store for you, like the one we are doing today. And today, we are gonna basically be going over the reasons why I decided to remove the windshield tint off of my 2015 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Um, now, let me just start off this video by say, saying today I am using the Canon EOS M50 camera. I pulled out my Canon 80D, got it all set up, and when I turned it on, the battery was dead. I was like, are you kidding me? So luckily I pulled out the Canon M50 and that's what we're shooting today's video on. So let me know what you guys think of the quality and the sound. We are oh, um, using the Rode mic as always. So let me know what you guys think of the sound and quality and I will put links to this awesome equipment in the video description. But I mean, if you've seen the video, I will put a banner up here of getting my front windshield tinted. And a couple weeks after that, I did another video, which I will put a banner up here of getting pulled over with the illegal windshield tint. Now, keep in mind that when you do the windshield tint, it it's pretty much not legal, I think, in all 50 states. So keep that in mind. You are basically gonna be flying illegal everywhere you go. Now, when you have the side windows, yes, that is illegal too, but it's not really as huge as the windshield is because the side windows, you can roll down. The windshield, there is no rolling down, guys. So say you're sitting at a stoplight, there's a cop uh, across from you or at the other angle, there's no way to remove the windshield uh, or roll it down, I should say. Now, my car is black, okay? It's the black car and a black interior. So naturally, the windshield tint was very, very dark. <laughs> you really couldn't see into the vehicle. So it was basically a dead giveaway at a stoplight. Um, not even at a stoplight. Say you're just going down the road and pass each other. When they can't see you in the vehicle, one, they don't like that, and two, they get curious. So then they will pull you over and start poking around asking questions. Now, if you have other mods, you know, like I do, um, and it may not be California legal, or I mean, maybe you ride around with other things, you know, riding dirty, what, what have you, you know, everybody has their own things that they do. You are, I mean, it's just kind of asking for problems because you can't roll it down and they're gonna see it, they're gonna pull you over, ask you about it, and once they have you stopped, I mean, you're at their mercy. They could be like, hey, pop this, let me look at this, oh, where'd you get that? And I mean, it could just open up a whole bunch of doors of problems for you and or your vehicle. So that was one of the big reasons why I removed the windshield tint. I live in a very, very small town, you know, there's no freeways, nowhere really to hide. So, I mean, once they see your car, they know your car. And I mean, the cars, 
there's, I mean, you know, not to suck my own tit or anything, <laughs> but there's no other car in, in the valley where I live that looks like mine. With the wheels, the stripes, I mean, with everything I have on there. So it was kind of hard to be low pro in a sense under the radar because, I mean, there's nowhere to hide and it was just a bad deal. The side windows, I can roll them down if need be. And I mean, I can hopefully kind of slide under the radar, hopefully, but there's no guarantee. So the windshield tint is just a dead, dead giveaway. Um, but on the pros, you know, that's kind of the cons on the pro side of it. It looks beautiful. The car, oh my gosh, it really changes the look of the car. It looks absolutely aggressive. It looks mean, aggressive when you're on the inside, fully tinted, 360 degrees. It's kind of like you're in a little tomb coffin and the sun doesn't bother you. You could be a, a damn vampire and drive around all day long. It was perfect on the freeway, keeps you cool in the vehicle and naturally it blocks the sun when you're parked. If you have leather, it keeps those UV rays and everything out of the vehicle and you know on your arms or your body when you're driving um and i mean it, I, it almost i was really sad when i had to take it off because i loved the windshield tint it looked amazing it helped keep the car cool the car just looked evil and i you couldn't see in i really like that i don't like to be seen or noticed when i'm driving around obviously unless i'm at a show and i'm trying to meet you know everybody each and every one of you but so that's pretty much how that went you know i loved the look and the style of it but the the cons kind of outweighed the pros you know due to where i live and two, when it was dark, I mean, pitch black dark on certain roads, it was really, really hard to see, guys. And I mean, I have perfect vision that I know of. I don't wear glasses. My eyesight, you know, is fine as far as the far and near. And I would have issues sometimes seeing out the window i mean sometimes i have to roll my side windows down just to see when i'm you know out of town taking different corners roads that i've never been so i don't curb my rims run something over or run over a pedestrian So I think I had the 20% on my windshield. So 20% isn't the darkest, but it's pretty dark for the windshield. So it makes it very, very hard to see when you're in the vehicle at night. In the daytime, no issues with vision whatsoever. But at night, it really limits your vision for what you can see and also the output of your headlights, obviously, because you're looking through tint. So it was hard to see at night. And when you go into different shows, you know, traveling in new cities, new roads, I mean, it can get difficult and you may damage your vehicle. Two, it's hard to see the cops want to pull you over stop you and right now in california the car scene is very very bad they have task force that are just looking for modded vehicles going to work pulling them over stopping them popping their hoods and looking for modded cars so the car scene is very very bad right now so that was one of the reasons that uh, fueled me to remove the windshield tint just to be on the safe side for you know my other modifications that i have not kind of open the door to pull me over and bust me for windshield tint and other modifications so 
that is something to think about and like i said this is just my personal opinions and my two cents on the windshield tent matter a lot of my friends have the windshield tent and they run the windshield tent no big issues but they also live in bigger cities where there's freeways and highways they travel on i mean i pretty much backcountry roads where I live. So, I mean, it's a small, small town. Most people know each other. The counties are real small. So once law enforcement knows you and your car, you're burnt, guys. And there's nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. So in my uh, city, my situation, it just made better sense uh, for me to remove the windshield tent, even though it hurt me because I absolutely loved it. I think it cost me like 80 or 100 bucks for the windshield. Not that big of a deal. Now removing the windshield tent, oh gosh, that was fun. Did it myself, the film came right off, but the glue, you know, spraying the soapy water and scraping it off, oh, that was a pain because of the angles that you're in. It, it was terrible, it took a while, and but I finally got the glue off and we got it done. So this has just been my two cents. So let's go ahead and kind of take a look at the car, how it looks without the windshield tint. And I mean, I mean, you guys know how it looks with the windshield tint, but we'll just go around it one more time. Give you guys a better look on uh, the naked windshield. A few moments later. Let's take a look at this naked, naked windshield there she is unfortunately the windshield tent is uh has been removed but we are still rocking the five percent sides and obviously the back but unfortunately the windshield tent has been removed for the uh better benefit of being able to see and not getting pulled over and getting my car refereed in california we also just added the lux auto concepts hashtag stripe i will put a link in the video description and obviously we got the lighting trends rgbw color shifting drls demonize and halos we also have that in the fog light X Loom, same thing, RGBW 392 badge. <laughs> we got the variant 20 inch 10 by 11 wheels that we are rocking. Huge shout out to uh, Variant, my buddy Roblin. Variant, real great people, awesome company that know a lot about wheels. I got my Lux Auto Concepts brushed metal tail light tint with the little hemi fam embossing back there so despite having to remove the windshield tint the car is still looking pretty damn good there's my hatchy decal made by lux as you know i have a, a baby tortoise named hat So, unfortunately, the windshield tint is gone, but the, uh, the car is still looking badass, guys. Let me know what you think of all the, the new mods that we've done to the car in the, in the uh, comments. We also have videos on pretty much all the modifications, so be sure to check that out as well. But it really hurt me to remove the windshield tint. Maybe I'll go may, try it again with like a the lightest shade they have. You know, we'll see. But you see how the, the car is kind of dark? With the dark interior, anything you put on there is going to look very, very black. 
I mean, as it is, you can't really see in, but maybe we'll try it again one of these days. We'll see. Definitely want to get a front splitter on here one of these days, but once I find one that I really, really love, we'll probably have a video on that too, guys. So that's it, man. I mean, the windshield tint is gone, but she's still looking strong, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. This has been the why I decided to remove the windshield tint off of my Dodge Charger Scat Pack. If you have a tinted windshield, you know, great. And if you can see out of it, that is awesome. You know, maybe you don't drive your car at night. It's not your daily, but I mean, you know, I drive my car as much as I can, nighttime, daytime, and for me, Unfortunately, it just made better sense to remove it due to the vision, not being able to see, and the law enforcement presence, guys. So, like I said, I don't want to run anybody over, and I don't want to get busted for other modifications do just because I have windshield tint, you know, open up a whole door of problems. So, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This has just been my two cents on the topic. So if you are planning to do a windshield tint, um, you know, take this video into consideration and try to go as light as you can, especially if you have a dark interior. So again, I really thank each and every one of you for watching this video. Be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Check the video description for awesome affiliate links and promo codes blenders eyewear being one of them get yourself some awesome affordable shades that look good and won't break the bank i also have awesome information of you know just the uh, things of the video in general and i will put links to some of the products that we talked about so be sure to smash that subscribe button before you go. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. And as always, guys, we will see you in the next one. Peace.